Yeah. When you when you like discover them, is that when you were like, I'm gonna like make my own custom shit. I'm gonna start customizing I mean, my bro, own shit. Bro, it was definitely a big influence because like I was probably doing my shit already, and then mm -hmm. I seen them like these cool group of people, and I was like, oh, this shit's possible. Yeah. You know? And then like you guys in a way kind of formed your own like New York version yeah. of that. Like it wasn't necessarily like like w with a name blanket. At all. I mean, I guess Spaghetti Boys kind of was like. I mean, that was not, later on. I yeah. feel like. They just called us like the Soho kids. Yeah, type shit. Okay, so yeah. w w what was, like, in that era, what was like your first time like having a bunch of eyes on something that you made custom, like, or like something that you made that was like ass pizza, you feel me? Because that was just your handle at first, wasn't it? Wasn't that yeah, just like just your- Yeah, just my Instagram. And, and then, but then you- got stuck with And it. then you started doing the- I think the, the, wasn't the first shirt like, like just like a drawing? So it was like three faces, just, I mean, mm -hmm. I would do hand-drawn shit, but yeah. the first, like, produced shirt, that was probably, like, 30 shirts or whatever, mm -hmm. was just, like, three logos, mm. and that's a rare shirt. What? But, um... When did you start doing, like, the, the OG triple box logos? So, I would just, like, okay, so that came about because I was customizing one hoodie, right? Mm -hmm. And I, like, tried to bleach a Supreme hoodie, mm. and then I like left it in the bleach too long, so it just like fell apart where the box logo stayed. Really? So I was like, oh shit, now I just have this patch. Then I sewed it to another Supreme hoodie. Actually, my grandma did. Shout out to <laughs> shout out to Granny Designed Pizza. by grandma. Yeah, because you know, yeah, I had her sew it. My grandmother, Bum, her name is. Shout out to uh, yeah. shout out to her. And that's why it's a special piece to me now, but it's lost. I don't know where the fuck mm. it is. And then I had two box logos for a while, and then I don't even know how I got the other one. I probably cut it, and yeah. then it was the triple box logo, and then that's that's history. Well, the internet was like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, they couldn't believe that you did that. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I couldn't believe it back then either, because I was yeah. just like, this nigga, I thought you cut them all up. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, he cut up three hoodies to make this. Or two this hoodies. That's crazy. Oh, and then that kind of just showed me, like, you know, you could really just shock people by doing shit like that. Facts. I mean? Facts. Yeah, once you figure out that equation, it's all over with. Like, did yeah. you see, like, that foresight, though, like, six, seven years ago? Like, okay, I'm going to be doing this this long? Or did you, were you not even thinking that far? Like, at that time, I didn't even think I was going to be a designer, you know? I was just, like... Having you know, fun? Yeah. yeah. Like, I originally wanted to make movies and be a director <laughs> and stuff, okay, which I probably yeah. still will do later on. But. That that makes sense though because like all of your like interview mm -hmm. like doc documentary style pieces on you are very fucking cinematic. Yeah, uh, but also your makes... your videos with Father Steve always like the <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. acted little scripts. Movie, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, you be sure. doing your shit. Yeah, I feel like that's that's kind of like every creative's dream is just kind of like have their own like incorporated movie. Man, they just look like they're big ass assignments to fulfill though. Oh, bro. it's definitely hard out there. Yeah. I need like a billion dollars. You 